All right, hey, hey everybody, RV enthusiasts here. Nice seeing you again. Today we're gonna work on another little project. Um, this is our last day of uh, bad weather, I think. And tomorrow I think we're gonna get up into some better weather and uh, we'll fortunately get to go out for some rides. Next week we are going on an RV trip, so that'll be fun. We are taking the bikes and uh, doing some trail riding. And I'll bring you that in a couple weeks. All right, so what we're gonna do today though Magicycle sent me this rack, this front rack, a long time ago. I actually did put it on uh, just for visual. Um, I haven't used it because I don't want to have to undo all of this cabling to put it on to use it and decide later I may, I may not want it on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to modify this and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to modify it in a way I think that we can uh, come back at a future date be able to take it on and off at our own will, the way we want to do it. Um, it's well made. So on this bike, this bunch of wires, we have to undo this, undo this, um, undo this, undo this, and then the, the brake cables, you'd have to undo the brake cables and run it through. That makes, that's where it, that's where it makes it very difficult because once you go through the brake cables to get it situated, you, you've got to do all that work to get it back off. So my thought is, we, we in order to get it on, taking a chunk out here or here isn't going to hurt anything. Okay, so we've got our slot. And this didn't weaken anything by cutting this out. But I want to go like this and get my wires in, and then I'll bring this up to, to the mounting bracket plate like that. So if you do want to move your light up to the front, Magicycle gives you an extender uh, wire to move it up to the front. So all you gotta do is undo it here, put it up here, and, and then that's where you have it. The only difference you'll notice is, is when, when this turns, the light turns where it's at. When it's put up here, the light will stay straight looking ahead. Pros and cons to that, I don't know. I don't know if there's a pro or a con to it, really. All right, guys. <clears throat> this is the second attempt on this one. First attempt, this did not work for me. So I've decided I'm going to try to cut through the bracket holder and fish my wires through there individually. I think it's wide enough to fish each one individually. And that will put us in the middle where we need to be. So let me finish this up, and we'll get back to the project. So you may notice this project jump a little bit. It's because I made uh, the video for this. This made uh, turning right a little tight. So I'm gonna put it where it should go, but modify it so I can take it off when I want. All I'm trying to do is can't chamfer the edges. Doesn't have to be great. Also remember, this is aluminum, so you don't have to paint it. If you want to paint you know, uh, the edges and stuff, you can, but because it's aluminum, you don't have to. It's not gonna rust on you. All right, let's say if I can set you up to watch me put this on. So first thing I'm gonna take is the little sp spiral cable management off. That'll work. All right, guys, to make this a removable uh, rack, you're gonna to have to cut this off and this off. You can put some uh, end caps in there or tape it or whatever you wanna do. But now, the rack is easy to take on and easy to take off and you don't have to mess with all the cables up above. I know it doesn't look as pretty, but it works. And it works to make a removable rack and that's exactly what I wanted. I want a removable rack.
So I'll, uh, I'll quickly, when I'm all done here, show you my mistakes, because I'm gonna make this a short video. This is not gonna be a 20 minute video to do this. And I know I'm good at making 20 minute videos. Now, if you have a 3D printer, you can print something to cover these. I do, but I haven't played with my printer in a year or longer. And uh, I'm a little bit out of touch with it. So I'm probably gonna figure a different way. Probably gonna put some tape on it because I'm going riding here soon. But uh, I don't have black tape. All I have is the white tape. I'll use the white tape to cover it for now. All right, got the spiral cable manager back on there. Nice and solid. If this project interests you, remember you're just cutting a slice down here on two sides to get your cables through so you don't have to mess with all this. This is still solidly on there. You do not need to cut this piece out like I did because I was trying to do it a different way. That's what it would look like if I would have just cut this out and this out to get the wires to, to, to pop through. Otherwise, this would have pushed the wires back and held them back up against here. That's not good. They need to be out here. Now, there is no issue with turning from side to side as far as you want to go. So that's the important thing. By going through here, it did not allow me to make this turn much further than that. It felt comfortable. It felt fine. But I, I felt it was... Uh, not as good as it could be for you guys. Now, if you want, you can you can you can paint between here uh, to make the chrome go away or the aluminum go away. And you could uh, what I'm going to eventually do on this one. In fact, I may do it now if I have it. I'm going to put JB Weld in here and let that sit overnight, and that'll solid that back up. This I'm not going to do anything with because I want it to be like this. But I will tape this just to take uh, any kind of uh, scraping that may occur although there's nothing in the way, but at least it'll look better. All right, this is the final product. Um, after trying to modify it a couple of different ways, this is how I ended up modifying it. All right, so my mistake is I cut this out thinking I would have enough when the cable sits here. It doesn't quite give you enough to turn. You can turn, it just feels a little tight on those cables and I didn't like that. And I don't think you would have liked it if you had done that and modified yours and said, oh, Bruce made us do something that's a boo-boo. But what I did do is I did cut down here, split this apart. It's still solid, 
but it allows you to track these cables in between here one at a time uh, to get into where they need to be. And I also cut this out. This currently is just black electrical tape. Um, I don't have any of my Gorilla Tape. I would have probably used Gorilla Tape on it, on here and here. Um, but it looks good enough for me, for now, till I get some Gorilla Tape. When I get some Gorilla Tape or 3M black tape, I will probably use it. But now, all you have to do is unscrew these four things, fish your cables through here, and it's out, and the rack is off. You don't have to have the, the rack on all the time. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining me on this video. Appreciate it. Have a great day, and we'll catch you on the next episode.